not up for today. Okay. I just simply don't agree. What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Grace. I'm a farmer, photographer, a welder, now a YouTuber I guess. And today I'm going to show you guys all the work that we've done on the corn head so far and I'm going to run you through everything else that we're going to do and then um, when dad gets off work we'll get started. So far on the corn head we have put, uh, we've taken all the snap and rolls off and the snap and rolls look like this. Basically a snap and roll is a roll and it's got four knives on it and it's got a spiral and it spins it has a bearing inside of it and it spins and that is what actually cuts the corn and then reels it into the head so uh, we put new knives on it and we put new bearings and most of them I don't think we did all of them but um, so there's two rolls for each row we've got the snouts off of it because we're about to do some other stuff but Basically, these two rolls will spin inwards towards each other, cutting the corn, and then it'll go through, and this little chain right here spins this way, and it drags the corn in into the auger, and then it feeds it to the center, to the feeder house. I hope that made sense. You guys know I'm really bad at explaining things, but I'll be able to show you better when it runs and during harvest this fall. What we have left to do, for starters, these little pieces right here, um, not all of them are on here. There's only a few of them, which isn't like a huge deal because the snouts will stay on, but we just, we're going to um, make some of these and get the rest of them on. I don't know why they don't all have them. Like on this one, you can see it, it has none. There's literally none. So, um, we're going to make some of those and put them on here and that's what holds the snout on or one of the things that holds the snout on. Next thing we're going to do is replace all of these chains. Um, I replaced one last year because I had, I believe it was this one. I have a video on that that I will try my best to link up here. But basically what happened is this nut right here, or this bolt and nut, um, snapped and the sprocket got all twisted up and then the chain came off and it was just... Um, it was a little bit of a mess, but I fixed that last year. So this one is new. This sprocket is new. This nut and bolt is new. And what we're going to do is replace all the chains, all the sprockets, front and back, or top and bottom, whichever you prefer to call them. There are these snap-in plates in here. Basically just two plates that sit over top of these snap-in rolls. They're pretty worn down, so we're going to switch those out. And then after that, I think we'll be okay on the corn head. So yeah, today we're going to work on getting all the chains off and um, what else was I going to say? Okay, now we're going to pause for a second because there's something that I really need to talk about um, and it's kind of been sitting on my mind for a hot minute. Um, let's just Um, basically, I've had a lot of people leaving rude comments about how I uh, am not posting as consistently as I should be. Some of you must not know, it's really nobody's business uh, but my family's. I really wasn't going to make a video on this, and I'm not going to make a video on this. I'm just going to make a, a really short point just to kind of get my message across further, if that makes sense. Um, my papa passed away in at the end of July, and it's obviously been very, very hard for us, and I took a little break, okay? And I don't feel like, whether you know why I took a break or you don't know why I took a break, it's nobody's business to come onto my YouTube in my comments and tell me what I should be doing for a better career. I know I'm young, but I'm not stupid. I'm very aware that not posting has put me back a little bit. But here's the thing. Me posting on YouTube 
as I'm trying to process everything that happened, I needed to take a break to start the grieving process because if I would have tried to continue during that time, I would have been burnt out and I probably would not be making this video right now. Uh, so it was necessary for me to take that break. And the point is, if you have nothing nice to say, um, don't say anything at all. You don't know what somebody's going through. You don't, like you never know for sure. And nobody that is watching this video right now, whether you knew about it or you didn't know about it, you don't know what I'm going through um, specifically. So it's, please just leave your nasty negative comments to yourself. I needed the break. It was necessary for me. And that is nobody's business but my own, my family, and that is all. Okay? So, stop comparing me to other YouTubers. Um, they're on their own journey, I am on my own journey, and this is how I chose to handle the situation, and that is not up for debate, okay? Thanks. Anyway, back to regularly scheduled programming. So I know I've made a few little um, teaser videos on here about our new semi, and I wanna show it to you guys. I'm really excited about it. I've been practicing driving it here, there, and yonder, and, um, so I'm going to show it to you guys. We're going to go for a little drive. Here she is. Isn't she just beautiful? Okay, this seat, oh my God, the seat is burning. Oh my God, I don't think I'm gonna recover. Wow. That is really hot, okay. Um. Anyway. <laughs>
me. I know I'm not the best, but I'll get there. So I did my first tractor pull last week and somehow came in second. I didn't even know I came in second until way after. My second pull wasn't as good, but I'll put some videos in here. I've started a situation for my poor father. <laughs> what do you mean? We aren't pulling. <laughs> you may pull, but we aren't. He says that. And he means that. I just simply don't agree. If I asked for help, you would help me. So we went through and cleaned out all the uh, debris and stuff in here for the most part. And now we're going to put new sprockets back on it. The bottom sprockets. <laughs> Okay, well my camera is about to die. I will update you guys later when we get done today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out all my other social media accounts linked down below and check out my merch at farmergrace.com and my brand new shirt called The Gambler. Free set of koozies and a sticker or magnet with every order if you order now. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>